You've been betrayed. You've been violated. Your trust has been violated. Your confidence has been violated. You've been lied to, devalued. Your boundaries have been stepped all over, pushed aside, been lied about, turned on, disrespected, gaslit, and been treated with total disregard for anything about you that is true and valuable by someone who was supposed to defend and take care of you, by someone close to you who is meant to be there to protect your well-being, not hurt your well-being in a significant way. And you may be experiencing betrayal trauma. This happens really often when we are talking about a parent who is a narcissist in very vile and disregarding and hurtful ways, betrays the trust of their children who then grow up with this betrayal inside them so that they cannot attach, you cannot attach to your toxic parent like a healthy parent-child attachment because, well, you don't have a healthy, emotionally healthy, safe parent. And then that trauma of attachment goes out into the rest of your life and makes it very difficult for you, if not impossible, to have attachments in your adult relationships. When children have this happen, when there is this massive betrayal, and I mean, the stories that I hear in coaching, I feel in my heart right now as I'm saying this, but I'm not going to share here because they're personal and they are deeply painful to discuss. If you have experienced that, I very likely don't need to say more about that right now. Okay, so let's talk about how it affects you, all right? When you're a child and you have this happen, when you have a massive betrayal of safety, confidence, trust, when you have, when you tell people that you're being harmed or being hurt and you're ignored and the adults around you literally betray you as a human being, as a child who needs protection, right? And don't give you any support or safety. You pull away, right? Like most people who have this and go through this will pull away. Pulling away is a very natural response because you have to retreat inside yourself for the only safety you can find. And what that creates is disassociation, it creates anxiety, depression, hypervigilance, catastrophizing thoughts, grief, anger, disbelief, frustration, fear, and self-preservation that should not need to be there in a child's life. See, we're supposed to be able to trust those who care for us, right? We're supposed to be able to trust the people who are bringing us up in the world. And when this is broken, and this is created this way, the rest of your relationships in your life can be very difficult for you to find any ability to trust anyone. This can happen as well when it's not a parental situation, when you have a relationship that you think is wonderful and you think is amazing and you find out the person's cheating and repeatedly causing you stress and grief when they don't take accountability, when there's no, no ability to have a conversation about it, when they're a narcissist, right? So betrayal trauma can happen to adults as well. The more significant thing I want to say here is when it happens to you as a child and then it continues to happen as an adult, it can really get in there that you can't trust anyone including yourself. And then there's another form of betrayal trust and that act comes in the form of institutions or groups of people where you're constantly the scapegoat, where you are constantly the one who's turned against or you're turned against by some narcissist and higher power within the institution and then everyone else falls in line because they're afraid of that person and then you're scapegoated and you have nowhere safe to go. Basically, the point of this is when you are dependent, either financially, through an obligation in an institution, because it's your only social outlet, because it is a church or organization that you grew up in, because it is an organization of people that have power over you in some way, because it's a family and without it, you'd be alone in the world because you grow up in it. When you have those situations where there is that form of power and control of you that is being misused 
and you are being misused within it. And there is no one there to have your back, to say, yes, this is happening, to validate you, to give you support, to help you find a way out, to help you regulate your emotions as you are going through it, then the betrayal trauma happens. I am Lise Colucci and I am here to help you heal from toxic relationships and narcissistic people in your life. If you need help with any of this, you guys, please check out the information in the main description. There are links there for coaching, group coaching, and peer support. It is tricky to trust after toxic relationships, period. When you grow up in it and when you've had repeated betrayals where you are literally dependent on the person who is betraying you and you can't get away, right? Yes, it's going to have a conflict in your life and it's going to create all kinds of issues for you. So please find someone to talk to if you can. So besides just finding someone to talk to, let's talk about self-care because really self-trust, being confident in taking care of yourself, finding ways to regulate your emotions, finding ways to validate yourself, lift yourself up, raise your self-esteem are absolutely critical when we're talking about betrayal trauma. There is a lot of shame that comes with this. There's a lot of defensiveness. There's a lot of walls that we put up to protect ourselves. There's the disassociative feelings that we have that make it hard to like get into the grief that actually is underneath it. And self-care is more than self-preservation, okay? It can be about changing mindset. It can be about shifting mindsets. It can be about listening to the dialogue in our minds that is self-judging, self-critical, self-harming, and actually self-betraying and calming that down to recognize all of that was the indoctrination from the toxic people. That is not who you really are, okay? Who you really are has the capacity for growth, for knowledge, for awareness, for understanding, for healing, for change, and for allowing yourself to be the human being that you are with kindness coming towards you from you, okay? And getting to that place, it's kind of a bumpy road sometimes and it can feel impossible, but it kind of is the building blocks for how to get through things like betrayal trauma, like trauma bonds, like all of the things we need to heal from when we're dealing with toxic relationships and healing from them, okay? So again, if you need help, let me know. Leave a comment if this is something you have struggled with and something that you maybe have a question about or something that you'd like to work on with this to help each other and to help you. And I will do my best to answer you and let's keep this conversation going, okay? I'll see you guys on the next video.